Hey, cushy, back at you. Well, we have just completed our trip heading down towards the Hoover Dam area. We're now going to go through the inspecting of the car, and then we will be into Hoover Dam recreational area, and we'll check everything out for you. Uh, we will be in the car for most of the um, drive. Uh, next video after this, we will probably do the ones where we're out of the car. So stay tuned and enjoy. Remember to subscribe and to like. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day and enjoy the video. Bye. As you can see, we're entering into a checkpoint. They probably do not want to get photographed, so I will turn this off. Well, we passed. We made it through security. They asked me if I had a gun. I don't know why. They just it's, ask everybody if they had I know, a gun they in ask, their vehicle. They ask everybody. I asked the guy, so can I have a gun down here? He said, no. He's okay, then I don't have one. <laughs> Uh, Don't joke around with them. They were not happy when he said that. I thought they were going to pull him out of the car. <laughs> so, we're back on this road. The squiggly road. The one that's a lot of fun to drive down. It says it's slippery when wet. It's even slippery when dry, probably. Uh, definitely is slippery when it's wet, though, because... We don't get enough rain out here to wash all the oils off the roads. And you can see all the wonderful power cords and stuff going on, all the electrical. All the big towers. There's a memorial bridge that you can go up to. That's the pathway that goes up there. Uh, a little too much pathway for me to travel. The stairs. For somebody who can't walk. Okay, I'm going to try to keep the car a little bit slower for Deb. We'll be using lower gear and that way we won't have to worry. Especially since officers are sitting there in the corner. Yeah, but I had my foot on the brake when you did that. That's okay. Is your foot still on the brake? No, I'm coasting okay, now. Okay, good. You gotta go down to 15 miles an hour. So hit the brake, hit the brake. So you can hit the 15 and then the car will be perfect. This is my favorite bridge. Your favorite bridge? I like the wall. The wall. Alright, now you can actually accelerate just a tad. Do speed ahead. I don't know how you can go any slower in 15, but that's a little sightseeing area that people do go off on. There's the bridge up there. Freeway. That's the Highway 11 bypass. We have pictures long ago when they were building it. Right now I got bad sunlight, so I apologize for the sun being where it is it makes it a little more difficult but right there's the sun here comes the sun and we're going to be traveling right next to some of the big pillars and this is a u-turn actually well, it's a very sharp turn and imagine that for many 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 years semis buses very large vehicles used to have to travel this. Um, this U-turn. <laughs> and these roads are much better today than they ever were back then. Uh, they even now have all these gates and stuff that are set up so that in case I, there is an urgency. Can I go faster? No, because you're in a 15 mile an hour zone. Thank you. So. My wife wants to go fast when you're supposed to go slow. Well, I'm going below 15. I'm going below 13 with what you ever you did. Right. So now you got to pay attention because it's 15. You're going 18. <laughs> There's a parking structure. There's towers.
there's the dam. I'm gonna open up the window. Hopefully it's not too noisy. People are very cautious out here. Surprisingly, there's a lot of people out here. Um, there's, everybody's supposed to wear a mask, but not everybody wears a mask. We gotta watch out for people that want to just dodge out. Through the years, they've put these barriers up here so that people don't just jump out into traffic. Stop, stop. We got crosswalks throughout that we have to be cautious of. They've uh, they've made major improvements compared to many years ago. So this is. Uh, Surprisingly pretty touristy today. Um, I'm a little shocked at how much tourism there is going on out here. I like the clocks. Deb likes the towers, the water towers and inlets. Because they have clocks. Because they have clocks. Oh, see, we could probably just stop there for long enough. We can hear how the water flows a, through the, the leader, intake towers. You're the leader of a whole line of traffic. Yeah. Please don't lean on the wires. So. Want me to go all the way up to the gift shop? Yeah, we're going to head up towards the gift shop. So, this is... Again, the winding road that coming down here and then going all the way up is all windy road. behind us so we can't stop. They've boarded up this cross path. They've made some more changes out here because of the COVID. Um, they've now blocked off areas that used to be open and they're making this a little more different a little more difficult than it used to be for some stuff. Welcome to Arizona. We are now in the city. <coughs> I'm sorry, state of Arizona. I'm in a state of confusion, but that's okay. That happens. Maybe you should eat before you go out. And <laughs> yeah, I wish I could eat before I go out, but I just don't do that. As you can see, we are on some really, really treacherous roads. Imagine having to take a semi down these roads or taking a bus down these roads. Uh, it's very very tight to do this. Lots of limitations. And these roads are improved, greatly improved. We're outside in all that wind noise. So road closed ahead. 
Yeah, it really is, folks. They, uh, they make this so you go into a parking lot, you go shopping at their gift store, and then you go back. Yeah, it used to go to Arizona, but it does not any longer. Yeah, they've, they've made big changes out here. Now it just goes over the border, and then you got to go back over the border again. Don't mind the wind noise. I do have my window open just so we can stick my hand out. There's the gift shop. There's the wonderful Hoover Dam gift shop and a little place to eat over there. And here's this where the road used to go down, no longer does. That goes to a parking area. And now we go up to the upper parking area. There's a squad car sitting there, 15 miles an hour. I'm just gonna turn around. Yeah, he's watching you turn around where you're not supposed to turn around. There's a helipad right there too. Okay. Do you want to go to the gift shop? We're no? we're going to head back towards the uh, dam. No. Okay. I don't need a gift shop. Do you need a gift shop? No, I don't. I just I, was asking yeah, if you wanted to go there. I don't think we need to go there. There's the road that used to go down. That's the old road that used to go down before they created the bypass. And when they did have the bypass, this gift shop was not here. So They created this gift shop when they shut the road down. I guess one way to make more money. I'm gonna give you a long view of this. 